Ah, your form is just chef's kiss perfect. Look at you, shifting seamlessly. I, I know it's still painful. Yeah, no. If you get used to it with time. Really what you should do is just keep shifting back and forth whenever you can. You'll get so used to it that you won't even notice it after a bit. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. The kittens, oh, <laughs> they're coming along just fine. Look, beginning to get a little bit of a bump there. Super excited. They're going to be so smart, just like their daddy and stone cold killer like their mommy. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, dad knows. Dad knows. Speaking of which, I sent for some of the conspirators that you told me about. They're down in the dungeon now. Daddy doesn't know about them. I made sure to give a good excuse of why we had um, some of the chambers being used, but he doesn't know who they are. No, I am having them interrogated now. I asked them some questions, but just as I figured they would, they haven't been exactly forthcoming with any answers of any importance, which is dangerous for you. Because if they don't tell me something that I can use to corroborate your story, then absolutely I have no problem making sure that you get torn limb from limb. Slowly, agonizingly. Hell, I'll even let you heal so we can do it again, if need be. Have you ever heard of thralling? Never. That's when you dislocate all of the major joints on someone and you take a nice little mallet, you push them all back in rapid succession and you keep doing over and over again until you wear out the cartilage in those areas, giving them nasty arthritis. <laughs> it doesn't sound like, you know, arthritis would be the worst thing that could happen to someone, but, you know... It can be a very excruciating life after that. Then we'll just have you be my little servant for the rest of your... Oh, hmm. But let's not think about any of that, shall we, darling? Come here. Just... Yeah, let me just give you nice scritches in your head. And we can think about all the times that we could have been spending together. <laughs> you know? Um, all of the love... That I could have been just doling out upon you. It's been a rough, rough time since you, well, seemingly started a rebellion to end my family line. But I have faith that what you told me is true and that we will see this to the end. I did, by the way, I did find, yeah, no, no, I did, I did, I did. I told you, I did, darling, I don't want to get angry. I did find the maps. And I did find in your bag just where you said they would be in your house. It does look like it's my dad's paw print and his scribe's writing. He did miss the buck. But how did he manage to cover it up? How did he manage to make everyone think that he actually pulled off the hunt and he didn't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't want to think about it right now. But if he doesn't get that means that I'm queen, then right? He's hiding the fact that I'm queen. And if I'm queen, then I get to just decide who I love and who I want to be with. And well, no, he does know about the kittens. And no, no, he knows they're yours because I mean, he's known that for the longest time all I've ever wanted to do is be with you. I've told you this. I I would move mountains for you. I would destroy the earth. I would go to every single one of our enemies and dig a pit that is just littered with spikes and all kinds of 
poison tipped f- spikes <laughs> so that they could fall down on them. What's that? Well, no, I know it wasn't as colorful as what I could have done, but it's because I'm thinking about love and not about war. I would absolutely destroy this universe if it meant that I get to hear you breathe again. Why do you think I was so hurt when it seemed like you betrayed us? Do you know the only thing that I've wanted to hear this entire time? What? You can't. You don't get to just say that. No. Well, yeah, no, it's the one thing that I wanted you to say. No, it made my heart flutter. It made... My heart skip a beat and the air from my lungs just evacuate. But you don't just get to say that. How can you say that you love me when you didn't tell me that you were doing all of it? You you keep telling me that. You didn't have time. If you would have done it, I would have believed you. If you didn't do it when you did it, then I could have died. But you know what? No, you're right. No, you're right. We have to overthrow my dad. Regardless of what happens to you, my dad missed the buck, which means I'm the queen. And he's holding on to power. And for whatever reason, he's holding on to power cannot be a good one. And you're right. When I told him about the kittens, he was very concerned. He didn't threaten me. He didn't yell at me. I expected he would pull his kingly influence and have me even thrown into the dungeons for daring to do it, but... Well, no, I mean, anyone who would be a suitor of mine has to get some sort of royal approval, and very few royals would agree with you, but it was his idea to have you go and sire a whole bunch of kittens for our clan because you're so smart, and I used that against him and said, why not with me? Okay, well, it also meant that it bought you a little bit more time. People are going to have a harder time wanting to just get rid of you when you have kittens on the way. And especially royal ones. He could absolutely make a movement to invalidate their lineage to the throne, given who you are. But again, he's not actually the king. I'm the queen. I'm the queen, and I decide what happens, and... You know what? If he wants to hurt you, then he can go too. I don't care that he's family. I can absolutely build a nice little cross to put him on, flip him upside down, and hurl him. Just Dunkin' Donuts him right into the ocean. And every time we pull him back out, we can ask him why. Why would he want to hurt his precious little princess? And right as he goes to talk to us again, fling him back into the depths and hope a kraken comes and just thrusts off his face with the fell swoop of their tentacle. You know, like a suction cup, just right off. Well, yeah, no. No, we're talking about my dad. Well, yeah, I would do that to him. Well, yeah, because he wanted to hurt you. And if you were innocent, you were just trying to save me. Well, then everything that I want to do to you, I should do to him, right? 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 Uh, well, no, kragans do exist. We could call them. Well, yes, that's what you use, the little blow horns, and the little conch shells. You can call them to come. They're tentacles. They're very powerful. See, they take another little suction cup, tentacle, put it on his back, and the other one goes on the head and... Why do you keep looking horrified every time I do that? Right right off? No? You're going to be an awful warlord if you do not learn how to get this together. I'm just saying. Look, I need some more proof and evidence. Not just for me, but for the people. They, they have to know that you are completely innocent. Trying to uphold the standards of the Panthers, And now that you're a Panther and you have kittens on the way, they will accept you as my prince consort. Well, in the rules, a king would supersede a queen. But since I'm queen in my own right, you cannot be a king because then that would... It goes back to the Elizabethan times and Elizabeth I. She ever married, it would have been a prince consort. It's why Prince Philip was prince consort. So you would be my prince consort. 
Mm -hmm. Well, yes, that is true. Well, regardless, reg no, reg I said regardless. The people have to know that you're innocent. And of course, I would like some more information myself. I don't want to go exactly, you know, popping my dad's head off with a kraken. Just because. Oh, no, 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 no. That just wouldn't do. I. Everyone has to know of your innocence and everyone has to be certain of his guilt. So getting that evidence before people, getting it printed and disseminated. There's a printing press that's not too far away. And I'm sure that we can absolutely go middle of the night, print off a whole bunch of copies of stuff, send it out. Oh, you're right. The internet would be faster. Look, okay, we're weird panthers. Okay, we don't have the best of technology around. Would you know how to do this? Influencers. Tell me more about these creatures. Are they one, Are they delicious? Do they, like, taste good? Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm glad they make pretty photographs, but... What does that have to do with, oh, they have lots of followers, like cultists. Oh, not cultists. Oh, oh, some, well, that sounds like cult followings. That sounds very culty. Oh, uh, okay. So we're going to use these cultists, influencer, preacher people, and they're going to send this information out to everyone. Oh, okay. The bird network. Got you. Well, what did you call it? Twit, Twitter, Twit, Twitter. Okay, so we're gonna send this out there, and boom. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. What? How do we start this? Oh, that's right. We have to go downstairs and torment those. You know what? I can let them continue doing it, or I have some way better ideas. What's? Hmm. Oh, they're they're. I mean, th these. I mean, they're influence of um. Well, they're part of the job. Yeah, see, this is going to help me remove their fingernails. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they grow back, sometimes ingrown, and we just let that happen. It's not our problem. Mm-hmm. No, I give them fair warning. Oh, and this, well, um, some people call them spreader bars, but, um, and they can be used for a variety of good things. It depends on what you consider a good thing in this case, but, hmm well, we shall definitely see, but no, don't worry, honey. None of these are going to be used on you. You are done. Well, no, we were going to do a lot more with you, but I just love you too much. I couldn't let them do everything that I wanted to to you. I got so mad. I just wanted to beat your head in with a brick, but I couldn't see you in more pain. So I just did the minimum so that dad would be off my case. I love you. And we're going to have a wonderful family together. So long as, you know, you are telling the truth. Okay, bye. Off to go have fun with the <laughs> your friends. Uh, well, just because they're your friends doesn't mean I'm going to go easy. It's been such a long time since I've been able to play. <laughs> All right, toodles, darling. No, you just, um, you sit here and, um, well, that's a really nasty cut you got there. Just, um, clean it. All right, bye, babe. Hey, guys, Zena Alexander here. Um... <laughs> This series has been so much fun. Um, so yeah, I inspiration at this point. I'm just really kind of pulling on uh, previous uh, parts inspirations for the character, and really wanted to develop the story arc of how she's going to overthrow her dad, and show that she's also willing to just completely turn on someone that you thought was she was solidly on their side, her dad. Um, but also how she turns back to the one that she ultimately loves because, well, she's willing to move he heaven and earth. She had the, you have to remember, she did have the chance to kill him. She absolutely could have. And she chose not to. And she chose to not torture him as much um, because she ultimately couldn't. So I want some redeeming qualities in her because uh, I, I people are going to disagree. And that's okay if you disagree with me. In fact, I encourage it if you want to tell me you disagree. Uh, 
because I like people having different opinions, but I, I don't believe in a bad character. I believe that everyone has different motivations. We're all, we are all the good guys. My, my daddy always told me we are all the bad guys in someone's story. There is someone's story out there where you are the bad guy. So I wanted to give her that like arc. Um, and I wanted to uh, pick off where they definitely, um, she has kittens, they're going to have a family together, and they're going to try and do what's right for the people, because ultimately she does care about her people. She's not, um, in the words of Drew, dude, she's not <laughs> Sylvanas Windrunner. She doesn't completely hate her people. She likes to uphold the rules and stuff, and she kind of is putting it together that, like, why wasn't her daddy more mad at her? Well, because he's probably getting, he's going to get rid of her. Why wasn't she? So on and so forth. So lots of time stuff together. Uh, big special thank you. We have a lot of new people. Biggles, want to say hi to you. Um, Elmer Fudd, I want to say it's fairly new to the server and it's been very, very, um, very active, which has made me happy. Um, there's been quite a few new people. I know Barks, Barks of Lady Luck has been around gypsy is uh been also been very very active on our discord server we are closing in on 900 people and that blows my that blows my mind i still can't believe that um and congratulations to nits for getting the mood day card of me this week which means you get a free audio if you guys would like to order custom audios um my patreon which is linked um on my channel you can get to it is there i should also start putting it in the description i should do that I should absolutely do that. Anyways, I love you guys more than bacon cheese fries. If you guys ever want to send me a message, you can always hit me up on Discord. And um, thank you, everybody, who was playing 70s Style last night. Probably going to play it again a little bit tonight, potentially. We shall see. Um, love you guys to death. I will see you in the next one. Beastmaster is tomorrow. Bye, guys.